Hi everyone! Today I want to review a new feature of RPA Express, Secrets Vault. Secrets Vault is a component in WorkFusion RPA Express which is designed to store sensitive information. The stored data won't be shown in recordings, logs, system files or bot configs. It allows you to share scripts with other users without exposing confidential data. Let's take a look at an example of how the Secrets Vault works. First, we need to create an entry with our secret data. Go to Window, Preferences, WorkFusion Studio, Secrets Vault. There are your entries. To add a new one, click the Add button and fill out the fields. We are logging into the control tower in our example, so the alias will be control tower login. Then we fill out our login in the key field and the password in the value field. Key and value fields are designed to save login and password information respectively. If you need to save only one secure data record, you can save it in either the key or value field and leave the other one empty. Data in the key and value fields is encrypted and you cannot view it when opening the secrets vault or editing the entry. After creating an entry in the secrets vault, you can use key and value data in your recordings. To do this, you need to create a recorder variable of type secret and select the required entry in the default value field. In the variables panel, the entries are represented as alias key and alias value. And in our case, control tower login key and control tower login value. You can see no actual data is displayed. If the record you need isn't already in the secrets vault, there is another way to create or edit this. Click Add Secret Entry. To edit an existing entry, click on the field you want to edit and insert the new data. The changes will be saved automatically. To delete an existing entry, click on the entry and press Remove. To use our variables, we will make a small script. First, open Control Tower using the Open Website action and then maximize this window. Next, insert data from our variables into the appropriate fields. I will use the web element action for this. Choose set value mode and the variable you want to insert. Then copy the XPath of the field where you want to insert the value. I've made it for username and let's make the same steps for password. Finally, we add a click mouse action to click the button. Also use the next path. That's it. I will add a wait action to see the result more clearly. Let's play the recording. Works perfectly. If you need to use secret variables in your business processes in Control Tower, you need to create the same secret entries in Control Tower Secrets Vault. You can do it manually or import a CSV file with your data. If this video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you next time.